I am so excited to announce this. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Akira and welcome to my channel called Zachalus Look. Today I am wonderfully announcing the first mini round to the now officially bi-monthly readathon that is called Murder Mystery. <laughs> Murder Mystery will be split into two rounds. During July, we'll be doing the mini escape round and during the month of November, we'll be doing the main murder mystery round. Keys to the Forgotten Threshold is the theme for our first mini round coming up in July. As you can tell, I have my key here. You definitely see me looking down or holding my notebook just so I can know what we're doing here. Okay, for the story for this round is You've wandered into a forest. In the center of a clearing stand three portals. You notice through the doors have no keys. Once you've entered one, there's no way out or is there. I will note and say now, yes, this may seem fantasy themed with the whole portals and stuff like that. But you don't have to be into fantasy fantasy to join it just happens that the storyline and such like that are more fantasy themed so don't feel limited to do just fantasy which is why there's like tons of alternative prompts here so that for people who do like fantasy can do a fantasy novel and for people who don't can go into other genres that they like we will be having three difficulties we're gonna have easy medium and hard each of them will have their own like little scenario because you're stepping into a portal into a different world easy is gonna be mushroom frenzy medium is gonna be sirens call and hard is gonna be dragon's key each difficulty will have their own set of prompts as well as it will get bigger each difficulty for instance easy will have three books medium will have six books and finally hard will have nine books but if you would like to join and you just like to join along see how this goes you don't have to join a single difficulty or do any prompts or follow along with one set of prompts because of one difficulty if you like to venture out and do whatever prompts you like feel free okay do whatever i have a couple set of rules here rule number one is for anyone it's basically what i said earlier feel free to switch difficulties meaning if you thought you could handle it hard but you can't and you want to do easy go ahead if you feel like you thought you could do medium you can only do easy do whatever just read that's the whole point of readathons i'm just gonna skip to rule three because like i already explained the first couple earlier rule number Number three is if you're trying medium or hard like all the way through doubling up is not allowed you have to do one prompt per a book once again this is a completely optional if you like to double up this is to make it more challenging especially for people who are probably able to read more i didn't write this down but if you would like to try more than one difficulty by all means go ahead before i read the story of each difficulty one by one i'm going to state that in the description below if i happen to pronounce anything wrong or if you're confused i put all the readathon info down there so that you can either Easily find it as well as the readathon socials instagram twitter discord whatever it's all down there because i know i will pronounce certain things weird our first difficulty which is easy has three prompts for you to read it's called mushroom frenzy let me read the story for you that i have here you step through the portal onto a clump of mushrooms spores block your nose gnomes slowly appear from a village and crowd you the portal disappears behind you you ask the gnomes how to go back and they tell you about three tasks you must complete pretty simple three prompts three tasks so prompt number one is animal care basically read a book where the main character or mc has an animal companion or as an alternative prompt you can read a book where mental health is the main focus prompt number two green thumb read a book where the mc or main character has a plant-based career for example florist herbalist botanist and so forth and so forth or you can read a book where the main theme is growth the last prompt for easy is fixer upper read a book that is set during a natural disaster for 
for example, hurricanes, tornadoes, and so forth. Or you can read a book with maps, blueprints, or diagrams. Now, on to medium. It's going to be called Siren's Call. Here's the story. You step through the portal only to be surrounded by schools of fish. You are underwater. You hold your breath until your lungs are bursting. Br breathe in and discover you can breathe underwater. In the distance, you can hear a faint hum. You swim towards it, greeted by a siren wearing a broken key hanging from a necklace. You ask if she would give you the key. She says that it needs to repair. If you find the six items to fix the key, you can have it. Here are the six props. Prop number one, Oyster Pearl. Read a book that has a gemstone in the title. Or a book with a shiny cover. Mangrove Treewood. Read a book where the MC must face against all odds or a book that you have no expectations for at all. Ocean's Heart. Read a book with blue on the cover or a book where the MC is an aquatic creature. Rusted Meadow. Reread the book or read a book that you didn't know you own. Glowing Coral. Read a book that you like the cover of or a book in a different format. For example, ebooks, audiobooks, web comics, fan fiction, just something different from what you usually read. And for our last prompt, Swan Song. Finish a book that you've already started or finish a book series. And for the hardest difficulty, which is nine books in total, is called Dragon's Keep. Let me redo the story. You hesitate before the door because of the growling in inanimating from the other side of the portal. You open the door onto a world that seems to be nothing but fire. An enormous dragon guards a house with blackened windows. Lying on the pebble path leading to the front door is a chest with a broken lock. Hoping that the dragon doesn't notice, you open the lid and pull out a glass bottle. Inside is a message listing nine items you need to place before the dragon in order to leave. I know I definitely struggle there honestly because I'm trying to read and look at the camera at the same time. Unlike the other two, this is not you just bring your items and you're just checking it off. You're actually doing trial and error. You're bringing stuff to the dragon that you think that the dragon will like. Now on to the prompts. Gold. Read a book with sprayed edges or a book with treasure in the title. Ruby Shards. Read a book with decorative edges or a graphic novel. Phoenix Tears. Read a book where death is temporary or a book with immortal beings. Cabin. Read a book set on the farm or a book in which something must be delivered. Fireproof Gloves. Read a comfort book or a book with a dust jacket. I'm sorry, I'm struggling with this one, so please check the description for this. Read a retelling with a gender bent character or a book that matches your outfit. Scaled Ballad. Read a book set in a different country from yours or a book completely or partially in a language that isn't your native tongue. Or maybe is in your native tongue instead of your, like, your second language. That's up to you. Mating of the Serpents. Read a book where the heroine is no dismal in distress or a book where the MC has an alter ego. Last but not least, Dragon Egg. Read a book with dragons, obviously, or a book where the MC has to save someone. Please check the description if anything confuses you or you can just comment down below if you like some clarity because I know I struggle with pronunciation and I'm not even going to try to act like I know every word here. I would like to thank everyone who's helped me with the student on. Even for those people who's been here from the beginning because this readathon has been in the works since years now, okay? Uh, especially for anyone who's double checked all of the prompts, all of the graphics, all of the stories, because even though I'm hosting a readathon by myself, I don't have to do it by myself. Let me know if you're interested in joining because, like I said, this took a while for me to plan. And even if you don't want to join, or if you just want to join maybe the main one, I know I definitely have to switch up the main readathon because I need co hosts. Uh, if anyone's interested, in hosting the main one with me if not it's fine well i have to switch it to teams instead of what i originally had which i have no problem with it's just that my original one was really ambitious and i should probably went simple but i definitely am not going to do recommendations because i don't do them but i'll definitely try to give recommendations if anyone asks me on twitter or discord or whatever i'll try my best anyway that's it thank you for watching and i'll see you on in my TBR that I'm going to be posting, hopefully my TBR will give you some recommendations or an idea of what 
I'm talking about each prompt. I currently don't know which I'm going to be drawing. Bye, everyone. <laughs>